And speaking of weather, Kern County farmers are hoping for rain to close out the month. Eyewitness News reporter Lena Folk joins us in studio with how the weather is impacting our agriculture. Lena. Hi, Michael. Well, if you've been outside the past few days, you've likely been caught in the rain. And while that rain may be an inconvenience to some, the amount of rainfall is crucial to the agriculture industry, for better or worse. We love, we love the rain. Anytime we can get more rain, um, we appreciate it. And this time of year is ideal. For almond farmer Jenny Holterman, rainfall in January is imperative. Without it, crops will suffer, resulting in major challenges for the agriculture industry. You know, every drop of water we get is less irrigation we would have to put on later um, in, in the growing year, but it really helps our aquifer, uh, it helps our crops um, you know, replenish that water supply. Holterman said the best case scenario is for snow in the mountains, which will create a recurring supply of water for summer after it melts. We really like a steady flow of rain if we if we could have our wish list rather than a whole bunch at once. You know, if we get um, a lot of rain over a short amount of time, then we have to deal with things like flooding. Eyewitness News meteorologist Miles Musio says although January started off dry, the chance of rain next week is likely with the second winter storm of the season. The storm track is going to come right across our area with big low pressure. The difference will be uh, this next storm next week will be colder and we'll actually see some snow in the mountains. Musio said the rainfall this month is above normal for January, but it pales in comparison to what we got last year. Looking ahead to February, Holterman said farmers do not want rain past early February because it could jeopardize the blooming of almonds. But Musio says February is likely to have rain. Like all of the southwestern United States should be seeing significant rainfall, and this is just the next 8 to 14 days. We'll see more rain going into the end of February, too. Although farmers witness the direct impact, Holterman said the amount of rain for crops affects the entire economy. Agriculture is our community um, livelihood, and it's what we do. So it really does impact our whole community. And of course, rain also impacts the supply chain as well when highway delays push back freight deliveries. For the latest on weather conditions, head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. In studio, Lena Folk, Eyewitness News.